Hey everybody, Sandy here. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. We're able to spend time with your families and friends. And we're headed into the new year. So, I figured I don't have any mm, festive New Year cups. So, I thought I would do, it's going to be a simple one today. But I have a wine tumbler here. I think this is a 12 ounce. Um, and I painted this, mm, I'm embarrassed to tell you, eons ago. Eons ago. Painted it, set it on the shelf, and thought, well, I'll get to it when I get to it. Um, not really sure what I wanted to do with it. Um, as you can see, I've got gold on the bottom, black on the top, and I splattered the gold really bad onto the, the top of this. And I thought, okay, well... Maybe I'll just do an ombre of sorts. Now, I'm no expert at ombres, but I figured let's go ahead and, and play this out and see how it looks. So, we're going to be using gunmetal instead of black. I'm going to use gunmetal. Um, I think that's going to give it an extra special shine because it's got more of a uh, rather than a blackish look, it's got some silver mixed in, and I think that's festive. Um, I've got, from the Glitter Horse store, I've got Marigold, and that's a pretty bright gold. But I also have Sunkissed, and I thought maybe part of the ombre for the gold could be the Sunkissed. We're going to try it and see. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I wind up with a tumbler to drink. Why not of that stays at my house? So that's where we're at. Oh, and now there's now there's uh, glitter all over my hands from those containers. I've got five milliliters of promarine uh, resin in here. I'm not going to use that much. I obviously I'm going to be doing the um, uh, epoxy method <laughs> of applying my glitters. Sorry, I'm still, you know, trying to recover from the holidays. So I'm just going to get this on here. I am going to start with my marigold. Let me move these off of here so that I don't have to fight with them after. And I'm just going to start with just laying it right on there until I get up toward the middle of the cup. And like I said, I wanna I want to ombre from this up to the um what is it, sunkissed is the, the lighter colored one. It's almost a champagne gold, is what it reminds me of. Okay, now I do have a distinct line there of which I really do not want, so I'm going to start doing my cascade from up here, if I can get that down there, there we go, and I'm going to start cascading my darker gold here, the mirror gold, and I will also cascade into that my Sun kissed. The trick is not to get too much up there because you want them to blend and you don't want it to absorb all of your um, epoxy either. Okay. 
So I'm, I'm happy enough with that. We may, you know, have to come back and, and touch up, and that's okay, too. Okay, let me get this back into my container. And we're going to head into the black <clears throat> and work our way down, and then we'll work in our our um, lighter gold. I think this is going to be a pretty um, tumbler for like New Year's Eve or for any time really, but this would definitely fit in with the New Year's Eve celebration. And I thought that was perfect for the end of this year. How'd we do? Let's see if we can't level it out a little bit here. And let me see. I want to try to do this where you can see it. I want to start cascading down. And the higher up you are, the more sparse it's going to show as it cascades down. And that's what we want because we want to do a blend. And same as, as we did with the gold, if we have to come back and do a little bit in there, then we will. The point is to get it on here in the way that we want it, sorry. Brain's still not working. There. Oh, that's already starting to look pretty. I like it. Let me give this a, a knock knock. Oh, there goes the gold into there. I should have knocked it before, but I didn't. And because I'm only using one parchment paper to do all colors, all things, uh, you know what? I better, maybe, well, no, nah, that'll be fine. It'll be fine. There. And now we're going to do from up high this middle part here and we only want it to I'm going to do some down and then I'm going to do some up from the bottom so oh some of that wants to come out of there doesn't it and I'm coming up a little bit on the black or on the gunmetal, knowing that I want it to cascade down, but I want it to tie in without a straight line. It looks like we're, we're accomplishing that. And that'll also somewhat shorten that band of gunmetal. How are we doing? That's really kind of pretty. I like that fade. Okay, and now we're going to come up. From, we're going to come from the bottom and go up. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> oh, Lord help me. English is my first language. <laughs> You wouldn't know it from the way I talk sometimes. Oops. I keep wanting to get the cup up near the, the glitter when I know darn well that that's not what I want to do.
And like I said, you can go back and forth until you get your desired results. I'm actually kind of liking the way this is turning out. I like that fade in the middle. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Leave it near the light so you can see it better. I think that's turning out gorgeous. Um, I'm wondering, do I want to come a little further down on this? And I think maybe I do. That that first gold is, is kind of a harsh gold. So I think I just want to soften it just a teensy weensy bit. Just at that, that little curvy part there. And bring it down. Whoops. Might have got a little crazy on that part. Okay. What do you think? I think this screams New Year's Eve cocktails. All right. I'm going to come back in with my gun metal. Oops. Not until I dump this off. I'm going to come back in with my gunmetal because I want to make sure that my my very top here is well coated with my you <laughs> spat. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. Okay, most times. All right, so I'm just going to Give this a little bit extra up here just to make sure that we're well covered. I'm going to get this, uh, let this cure up, and then I'm going to throw some um, epoxy over top of this. And when we come back, we may just see the final reveal. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to put something on here. But I may. You'll have to wait and see. We'll be back in a second. We have epoxied our glitter. And it came out pretty smooth, actually. Not bad at all. A couple of little high spots, and I cut them down with my X-Acto knife. I took off the tape that I had on here and reapplied because I know I'm going to have to epoxy again, of course. But um, this really does not translate that well on the camera. It's so sparkly and so pretty. It looks kind of mattish to me on the camera, but in person it's, it's real pretty. Um, I did have a spot here on the bottom where um, the seam... It bubbled. I, I'm so over these cups that have these seams, I'm telling you. But this is one that I had that, you know, I was waiting to do something with for almost a year. I hate to admit that. but um, So what we're going to do is I do have some, oh, some curly cues. I, I don't know what to call them, but it's vinyl that's been cut for a long time. I did use it on another cup, and I thought this would look pretty on here, not overdone or anything, but I'm going to be slicing these apart to just do different placements with them. So, you know, we'll see where that goes. I thought about recutting and doing some gold for up here, but I, I don't think so. I think we have enough gold on our cup. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting the vinyl on here.
if you do get a buckle that uh, just does not want to lay down, you can go in and slice it with your X-Acto knife. And if I find that we have one, which we probably will, this was a pretty, a pretty lanky design, so to speak. Um, we can either slice it or we might be able to lift it and and stretch it out. See, I've got a piece here that's just not going to, it's just not going to let go. Let's see if I can get in under there to give it some relief. Somewhat. Now, this will be the piece that we'll have to we'll have to deal with, and we will. I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to leave that like it's not doing anything wrong, and get this transfer tape off of here. For starters. I've got another piece right there and that's you know that's not uncommon for these curvy um, tumblers but the rest of it looks really good through here we're doing good now I am going to that's not going to lay down for me, so I don't believe it will. I'm going to try to, there we go, try to gank it up and move it as close as I can to this edge before the buckle becomes a problem. That way when I slice into it, it's right there on that, that other part of the design, and it will actually allow it to look like there's no no issues there if my eyes would work let's see there and it's in and not a problem okay so this one this one eh. We may wind up having to, it's quite a ways away from the the base over here. We're going to try. And, and I'm not digging into the cup. I'm just barely going along and lifting. And then following it up to lay it down. into it. It's still attached. There we go. And right on that 
edge, I'm going to slice it again and take off the excess. And then I'll just lay it down in there as best I can so that it's not too noticeable. And there, we have a full layout there. Now, do I want to put this in here? One here and maybe... Yeah, I think I want to, I'm going to finish it out. I know it might seem like overkill, but I like, I like this design on here. I think it makes it look elegant. It looks New Year's Eve-ish. So I'm digging it. Now, isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. So I'm going to, it looks like I might still need to uh, take a little bit here. And I'm going to do that right here on camera so that we can see. There's just a little lumpity bump in there. I'm not liking that. Hopefully I don't take too much. I got him. Yep, it was just overlapped a little too much in that one spot. Okay. Okay, we're good. What do you think? I think it looks really pretty and elegant and if I was a wine drinker, I'd drink wine out of this. So when we, I'm going to get this epoxied, and when we come back, we will have our final reveal. So don't go anywhere, folks. We will be right back. <laughs> 